subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hello YouTube, this is Wase here and in this video, I am going to show you how you can check the size of your DVD ROM before you buy a caddy for an SSD or your hard disk. So let's start the video. So if you don't know, your DVD ROM comes in different sizes based on this thickness. For example, some DVD ROMs come in 9.5 mm, some come in 12.7 mm. So according to your DVD ROM size, you can buy corresponding caddy for them as well. If you don't know what a caddy is, is a caddy is basically a place to rest your SSD or hard disk drive so that you can install it on your laptop instead of the regular hard disk in this way you can have two hard drives or an ssd and vice versa anyways now there are two ways you can find the size of your dvd rom the first way is through the computer and the other way is to actually remove the dvd rom and check its size through a ruler so first of all we are going to use the computer method and then i'm going to show you the other way you're going to type device manager on the search you're going to open device manager and here you can see cd uh, dvd cd rom you're going to press on it and here on the last you can see its model number gu 90n your will be different based on whichever dvd rom you have on your laptop so i'm going to write gu 90n that is the model number of my dvd rom on google and i'm going to search for it so you can see different things come up and here is the dell website you can open this it will show you the thickness and you can see others websites as as well 9.5 mm nhl new hl 9.5 m gu 90 this is the model and if i open it here you can see internal drive for dell as my laptop is dell so i'm really sure that this is the dvd rom that is installed on my laptop and this is the main thing the thickness is 9.5 millimeter that's why i'm going to buy a caddy that's thickness is also 9.5 millimeter if your hard uh, dvd rom thickness is 12.7 you're going to buy the 12.7 variant now the other way if you can couldn't find your model number on the internet then the other way is that you're going to actually remove your dvd rom from your laptop and you're going to check its size from there so i'm going to open my laptop and i'm going to show you here is my laptop let me just remove the dvd rom here on this side i have the dvd rom so i'm going to rotate my laptop to the back side and here is my actual dvd rom so you can see that one and two screws are holding my dvd rom so i'm just going to remove these screws okay i have removed both the screws so let's just uh, move it out hopefully it will move out yes it is so here is my dvd drive as you can see now here on top let me just see if i can find the size or not so i couldn't find its size on top so i'm going to take my ruler and i'm going to measure it from its side this is how you can measure the size of your dvd rom so here is the side the flatter one here is a simple ruler i'm going to put it on the centimeter mark and by placing it it's around nine i don't know if you can see it but it's less than one centimeter it's about 0 0.9 centimeter which is approximately equal to 9.5 millimeters so this is the second way how you can check the size of your dvd rom so we checked it on the internet it showed 9.5 millimeter and by physically checking it it is 9.5 millimeters so we know what size of caddy do we want for our laptop these are the two ways how you can find the size of your dvd rom if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions, write them in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thank you for watching this video. See you guys in the next one.